Art connects the dots between Chicago's house music originators and the global electronic music scene. House music was invented in Chicago. It was heavily influenced by disco, which emerged from black, brown, working class, and LGBTQ urban spaces in the early 1970s. You've got the four to the floor, right? And that's disco. You've got the kick, mm, 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 mm. and this pulsation just is, it won't let up. While disco started out underground in the 1970s, it was embraced by the music industry, bolstered by the hit movie Saturday Night Fever, before long disco dominated radio stations and singles charts. In Chicago, this inspired a backlash from rock fans, led by radio shock jock Steve Dahl, who proclaimed, disco sucks. On Disco Demolition Night, July 12, 1979, Dahl blew up a pile of disco records between White Sox games at Comiskey Park, leading to a riot on the field. Toward the end of the game, you got like thousands of people saying, this girl sucks, this girl sucks. There was a racial element and, and a homophobic element, whether they intended to or not. That was a very divisive moment in our history. While the disco fad quickly faded, underground dance music lived on. In 1977, DJ Frankie Knuckles moved to Chicago from New York and began a six-year stint at the warehouse, helping to inspire what became known as house music. House music is the bastard child of disco. House came from that. Activated black and brown kids from the South Side appreciate funk, soul, and disco music. And they want places where they can go and dance and be themselves. And they start having parties. Their entrepreneurial spirit comes along. I would have a lot of edits. So I used to bring two real to reels to the party so that I could always play my tracks that I made. Kids could buy some rolling gear and some synthesizers, hook it all up together to a reel-to-reel, and start making their own music. A lot of people put bricks in to build what we call house music. There was a lot of contribution to getting house to, to be this whole global thing. I don't think disco ever died. I just think that it evolved. But I do think house music, which continues to live and thrive and evolve and be international, I mean, that's the best revenge you can get. <laughs> 